you've had your hand up for a while. I'm going to take your question. You. Lady in the front there. <laughs> Look, my one question is basically, or my one comment, or passing comment, is that so many times you've brought up women in Islam. I'd just like to correct that I've read the Quran, and all Muslim scholars would agree with me that Islam gives women a lot of rights. We over and over give Islam, women in Islam through the Quran, I may not say it through individuals who preach the religion, but Islam through the Quran gives women a lot of rights and I need that to be heard. I need that to, to have everyone to understand and hear that. I mean, Absolutely. I am a young Muslim woman myself. I sit before you, I have a voice and I can speak to you and I can look you in the eye. And I do have my rights. And when I go to Iran, I'm actually Iranian as well. So when I go to Iran, I also have my rights. I need it to be heard that the Quran, the Quran, Allah, Subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us our rights. In people, individuals in countries and people who represent our religion may not, and they may do the wrong thing to um, sort of stand in front and show us religion and preach us religion, okay. but Islam does. All right. We're going to take that as a comment, a very passionate one at that. Okay. I, well, no. You're, uh, hang no, no, we're not. No, we're not going to take it as a comment. I can, <laughs> I can see your face, I can see your hair, and I can see you sitting in an audience with young gentlemen. Don't you tell me you can do any of that in Iran. I can, though. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you cannot. I can in Iran. In Iran, in the Islamic Republic of Iran, where I have you been, can, you wouldn't, my I hair see would be hair. out. My no. hair would be out because my veil would be little. My hair would be out. It may be covered a little bit, but just like in, in, oh, in the Bible, on. in the letter to the Corinthians, okay. Okay. it says to cover your no, hair no. to be modest. It's a shame she's spoiled what could have been a perfectly be. good state. Oh, all right, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm my sorry. modesty would be there. I mean, you've been talking about these cheap, uh, cheap jokes and things throughout have, this if, whole if conversation, you but you're the only one you making insult, the cheap you comments. Insult, you insult your sisters in Tehran who are being beaten, <laughs> who are being beaten and raped every day when you say not, that they have their rights in the Islamic Republic. You, it's an insult to the women of Iran. I do not. Astaghfirullah I'm Muslim. I'm very ruffled by the title of your book. Of all the titles that you likely had at your disposal, did you have to settle for the uh, literal negation of Allahu Akbar? Yes. I thought so. Thank you for that question. Thank you. Oh, it's a very good question. I'm glad. I wanted to come well, back to it. Um, Why? Yeah. The, as I've said, I, I think that all religions are wrong in the same way, in, in that they privilege uh, faith over, over reason, but they're not all equally bad in the same way all the time. I mean, if I'd been writing in the 1930s, I would certainly have said that the Roman Catholic Church was the most dangerous religion in the world because of its open alliance with fascism and anti-Semitism, which the damage from that our culture has n never recovered from and, and never will. But at the moment it's very clear to me that the, the most toxic form that religion takes is the Islamic form. The horrible idea of wanting to end up with Sharia, with a religion go governed state, a state of religious law, and that the best means of getting there is jihad holy war, and that Muslims have a special right to feel aggrieved enough to demand this, I think is absolute obscene wickedness, and I think their religion is nonsense. And the, the entire, I, I, I in, had another, I had in its entirety, the, the idea of God, God speaks to some illiterate merchant warlord in Arabia, and he's able to write this down perfectly, and it contains the answers to all humans, don't, don't, don't waste my time. It's, Bullshit. But you're saying the same also about that, also that God, that God speaks, the Archangel Gabriel speaks only Arabic, it seems. I this just want to say, in retrospect, crap. you were very civil, actually. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> this is, no, this is... Uh, is this, this the is same a characterization a, a, of all wait, religions? Uh, well, then? actually, no, because remember, Islam makes one special claim for itself. All religions claim to be revealed truth. They, they all, all are founded by divine revelation. But Islam rather dangerously says, Ours is the last and final one. There can't be any more after this. This is God's last word. Now that's straight away a temptation to violence and intolerance. And if you note, it's a temptation they seem quite willing to fall for. Re Rabbi, Second, do you have any... Uh, I had another motive. Yes. Another motive, which is this. If you remember Dick Gregory, the older comrades here, Will, great black comedian and civil rights activist, when he came to write his memoir, he called it nigger. Right. It upset a lot of people, including his old mum who called him and said, why are you doing this? And he says, Mama, every time you hear that word again, they're selling my book. <laughs> <laughs> so every, every Allahu Akbar reminds people that we're in a very serious struggle with a very depraved religion. And there are help is available. Friend, you, 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 
Give no quarter? I, I, look, he believes in the prophecy of Muhammad. I'm sorry to say, I, I think he's been at best conned. Yeah, our time is ticking down. Islam as a religion is a lie wrapped with some facts and truths. If I want the truth, you can't handle the truth.